What's up, guys? It's Justin Mark. Right now, I'm in Mexico City with my good friend, David Bond. So, David, welcome to Mexico. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you think of Mexico so far? What do you think of Latina girls? I love it. I mean, uh, it's great. It's only been two days, so it's a little too early to judge, but so far, so good. So, guys, David's got a really cool channel uh, where he talks about dating, travel, all kinds of really interesting topics. How would you actually describe your channel? I would say it's a little bit of pickup, a little bit of travel vlogging, and sometimes I give my opinion on relationships, life, philosophy, stuff like that, pretty much. So check them out, and also guys, just remember, we have just launched the online seduction course. If you wanna get a copy of this course, go to online-seduction.com, grab a copy of the course. Now, even if you don't wanna spend the money on yourself, because you don't like girls, or you're gay, or whatever, maybe you're just a cheap fuck, that's cool, you can put in your email, sign up for our free email list, where you're gonna get tons of free content, free value, um, openers that are gonna allow girls to pretty much right away give your number or um, advice that's gonna allow you to like double or triple your matches or actually get the online seduction course, change your life forever and watch your dating life flourish. Because a lot of the stuff we're talking about in this video or the videos on my channel, we go so much more into depth on the online seduction course where we're actually teaching you how to fucking kill it. And this is really raw advice, we can't give it on YouTube. So we'll see you guys there and let's jump straight into the video. So guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about automating your dating life, how to automate your dating life, how to pretty much have things on autopilot. So I was just out with my, with this beautiful girl I'm seeing, okay? And we're walking down the street and I'm like, you know what, I'm kind of bored, I'm gonna go home. And I come home, Dave's sitting on the couch and he's on his phone messaging girls on Tinder. And he's saying, hey Justin, I got two Bumble accounts, I got two Tinder accounts, this is awesome. I'm like, cool. And then he, he's like, look at this. And he sends, he just puts in like a code into his phone, like a one, one, and it automatically pushes out a text message to a girl. Or he puts in like a two, two, and it puts a different text message to, to a girl. And it's really interesting because by doing shortcuts and doing things to kind of save time, you're saving time. You can spend that time with business. You can spend that time doing cool stuff. You can spend that time going on dates, or you can spend that time matching and automating more girls and into your funnel. So David, can you explain to me a little bit about your process and how you do this? Yeah, so um, with Tinder, I, on, I use an Android phone and it has a feature called predictive text. Well, a lot of people don't know that you can actually create your own custom shortcuts on Android. What that means is you can bind any keystroke to say anything. So what I do is I have one one will send my first message, two two, will be a message to the reply. 3-3 three, three is the next message, and then 4-4 four, four is the close. These are pre-written messages with emojis, like, you know, perfect grammar. And that way I can actually talk to girls on Tinder without typing a word. I literally just go 1-1, one, one, they reply. 2-2, two, two, which is the follow-up, they reply. And since most conversations typically go the same way every single time, the text messages, if you were to read them, it looks like I'm I'm having like this regular conversation, but I'm actually not even typing. I'm so assuming. you're having this fluid conversation, pushing it in the direction you want, you know, making sure they feel comfortable with you, setting up the date, moving towards getting her number, mm -hmm. and then really you're not actually doing anything, you're just automating everything. Yeah, I'm literally just typing one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. And I, I, on my uh, my big phone, I even have like XX, WA, I have, a, I have binds for everything. So I have binds for, hey, do you have WhatsApp? I have a bind for a flake message. So like if girls don't reply, I have a little message for that. I have objections. I have, even when girls message me their phone number and I want them to tell me the full number, I'll actually have a message like, hey, could you actually give me the full number with a plus? Like I have a whole sentence. Sick. And so when you read my Tinder conversations, it looks like I'm putting a lot of effort into it with emojis and commas, and but the truth is I'm not even typing. And then you mix that in with a high quality profile and you're killing it because you have all these beautiful women who'd love to meet you and you're actually, it, it, to them, you're this like cool exotic guy who's like doing this cool stuff, you got cool photos, like you and like giraffes and stuff, you, you're just doing all, all kinds of interesting things. And then you're actually having this, you're investing in them. And to a lot of a lot of guys think that with online dating, you don't wanna come off like too needy or whatever. But in fact, like if you're a high value man, you can never really be too needy. If you're a man full of abundance and options and dating options and whatnot, the girls aren't gonna see you as needy. So that's why this works. What are some other ways you're able to automate your dating life? Yeah, so um, one of the ways that I automate it 
is I actually have software where I can remotely control my phones with my mouse and keyboard at home. And I can even, I can control up to like three or four phones at a time. So when I'm really like in the zone, I'll actually connect my phones to my computer and I'll have two phones on my laptop and I'll be using my mouse and keyboard. That way I can type faster and I can drag and drop videos. And it just gets, to be honest, gets pretty insane when you watch it. Uh, another way I automate is I use macro software, which allows me to um, essentially code scripts. So one of the ways, for example, on Bumble, Bumble, there doesn't seem to be any kind of punishment for liking every girl, which was on Tinder, if you like every girl, it's not good. Well, I'll actually run Bumble on my desktop and then I have a script that will just like every girl. And if we match, it'll detect the match and then, you know, uh, keep going. Another way is if I have a Tinder list, let, let's say I have one phone and I have maybe like 100 or 200 matches, there's gonna be a significant amount of girls who didn't reply to my first message. Now, one way that I automate it is I actually have a macro specifically to message girls who didn't ever reply to me. Now, again, this seems really extreme, but once you know how to do, you know, scripting on a macro program, it's actually quite easy. So this morning, for example, if you wanna talk about extreme optimization, I made a macro to reply, to message every girl on the list and while it was going, I was doing laundry. Get in here, Brad. So, Brad, we're talking about automation. That's pretty fucking crazy. So, you're essentially automating your entire, like, you're literally using scripts and, like, robotic software yeah. to automate literally every part of your dating life when it comes to online dating. That's yeah, fucking I mean, amazing. That's, that's, that's really extreme. You don't need to go that extreme. Uh, I know it's really intimidating when you hear that because you're like, Jesus, man, I just want to have a date. I don't want to learn how to become a programmer. <laughs> you know what I mean? But so I mean, you can still just on your phone alone using just the uh, predictive text and the macro or the um, the binds. Like that's a huge step forward as well. Another really interesting thing is broadcast messages. Like for example, last night I've got about a thousand girls' numbers here, and I started seeing a girl. So I've been spending a lot of time with her, and I don't want all these numbers or these girls I've slept with or dated to go to waste. So last night, I literally sent Brad a thousand girls numbers. And then even just now, I sent a broadcast message to about just under a thousand women saying, hey, my friend David's in town. Can you message him? He really wants to meet you. He thinks you're so pretty, right? And because of this, you're able to, we're able to like push, it's almost like an email. It's like you push traffic to David, push traffic to Brad. And it's really interesting. Now, in the online section course, we do go into detail about a lot of this material. It's really crazy because you can actually learn how to automate everything. And um, I believe we're actually going to interview David for the online instruction course as well. Me and Brad spent months putting this course out. So I highly recommend you go to online dash structure.com, grab a copy of this course and, you know, learn this stuff because this will literally help you scale the shit out of what you're doing with your dating. Now, Brad, what are some ways you think a guy right now at home can pretty much automate his dating life to save time? Well, first of all, you need to install Tinder or Bumble, obviously. Uh, Instead of doing like traditional cold approach, is what you're trying to say. Yeah, that's what I was going to mm -hmm. say. So if you want to automate your dating life and make it a lot easier, you're going to have basically, if you were to like go on Tinder and just see the most common things girls would say, you'd get sick of replying to them over and over again. So Where you would you from? you'd remember these questions and you'd you'd kind of like just remember the best reply for them and then you would use that reply for every girl you would have that in like a, a, a like some kind of co a clipboard on your phone mm -hmm. and just send that to every girl right so depending on how many contacts you have if you have a lot of if you have a lot of numbers you're going to have more copy and paste messages for me if I go through my copy and paste messages that I send uh, to girls there's actually quite a lot Justin have a look at this. I go here, look at all the ones here. All the, look at the ones here, all these different copy and paste messages. Dude, that's a lot, holy crap. Yeah, Dude, you have more than so I have like 30 different copy and paste no. messages I send to girls. That's crazy. So it just depends on the circumstance. I got, I got three different openers, uh, cause I just swap around. I've got ones based on objections, like uh, the girl, girl flakes, um, the girl stops replying. Um, what, just good re-engagement texts in general too. And then one's based on common questions like what are you looking for on Tinder or where are you from? Like all that kind of shit. Uh, got messages back for that as well. And these are super important because when you start getting over 100 numbers, 
you're really wasting a lot of time writing out the same message over and over again. So I don't know what you guys spoke about before this. No, well, that, that's pretty much what we chat about. Another way you can actually automate your dating life, social life right now is let's say you get the girls on Instagram or you have their WhatsApp number. Well, you can actually do stories on WhatsApp. Are you aware about this, by the way? You can do WhatsApp stories. And then send and it to a bunch of girls at once. So you, you can do both. You can actually take a video and broadcast it to a bunch of girls at once. Or you can actually post the story on your WhatsApp story. It's actually a new feature. Oh, or you yeah. can just post on your Instagram. And what's gonna happen is any girl who sees that is automatically gonna be a qualified lead because they're watching your content, they're watching your story, they're seeing you do cool stuff. Like for example, just now, I did a little story of us, you know, chatting, doing this little video blog, and now I'm gonna post it on my Instagram, right? And then once, you know, you post this, what you can actually do is you can, I mean, you can manually look at who sees your, your story, and you can actually message those girls, but oftentimes, a lot of these girls are just gonna message you directly, or you can have a little call to action where um, you you put like a little you know tag saying hey or like put your put Mexico City tag and like hey are you guys in Mexico City shoot me a DM right and when you do things like this girls who are in you're gonna have so many contacts when you automate this that you're getting all these numbers you're like farming numbers from online dating Tinder Bumble Hinge all these random apps like Badoo and then you're almost gonna forget about the amount of girls following you so when I look at who sees my story on Instagram it's like thousands of fucking chicks right. And so I've got about almost 13,000 followers. I think about 20% of them are women. And so it's literally thousands of girls watching my stories. And when I see that, I can actually either manually DM them or if that's too much work, cause that is a lot of work, you can actually um, put a little call to action for them to message you. So guys, these are just a few ways how you can automate your dating life right now. Guys, I highly recommend you go to online-suction.com. Make sure to grab a copy of the course. We talk about this in so much depth and so much detail. And if you learn this material, your life will change forever. You're not really gonna have to worry about the next time you go on a date or meet a girl or have intimacy or have fun or go on a fun adventure with a really pretty girl because it's just something that comes natural because of these behavioral patterns you have. And um, pretty much that's it, guys. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. And also, guys, if you have any questions, shoot me a message on Instagram at Drunk Justin. I'll be sure to answer every single message. And again, go to online instructioncom Make sure to grab a copy of the course. And if you guys are interested in seeing David on David's channel, um, check him out. David, is there anything you want to add or say about you, your content, your channel? Uh, no, I mean, if you guys want to watch some of my stuff, just go to David Bond. And uh, there's a pretty good chance I'll come out with some vlogs that might have these guys in it. So if you're interested in that, uh, but yeah, I guess I would write Awesome, man. So thanks guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. To be honest, we have been, hola. hola, we've been over, super overwhelmed with the amount of people who have messaged us to enroll in the online mentor program. I probably had like 400 people message me. If you're still interested in changing your life forever, message me right now saying I'm in about the online mentor program. Okay. All right, yeah, see. Si. Chris, I have a question. Uh, are, are you and Carla like dating or, or what? Is it your girlfriend? At this point, I'd say we're friends. Oh, but when you, what about last night when I was sleeping next to you guys and you guys were like humping and stuff? Chris, is this your girlfriend, Chris? Chris, is this your girlfriend? Actually, it's my wife. Is this, this one, she's your wife? Chris, how come you sing so close to her, Chris? You're too close. What's up, guys? We are just out here with Chris. So I'm in a street interview. And we're also out here with the girls. We've got her. And we've also got, say hola. Hola, hola. Here's my man, Justin. You need some advice. Does he 